This is what Yamuna looks like today. It looks nothing like a river. It is polluted with waste. Yamuna is also a sacred river. People come here to bathe and they even drink water from this. People have an emotional connection to Yamuna. But this hasn't stopped us from polluting it. Yamuna has become a hot topic for political debates. Now later, you have to go to Yamuna. But who will save us? You have to keep your mind in mind. When we plan, we will be able to do it. It is very easy to give a lot of information. There is no other thing to do with social information. The political establishment for over the last almost two decades has let the citizen down. Former chief ministers of Delhi have tried to clean Yamuna and failed. Now we have a new chief minister in Delhi. And she has promised to clean Yamuna as well. But I have just one question. At this point, is it even possible to clean Yamuna? Let's find out. The first step in my journey was to see what Yamuna looks like. I went to Kalindi Kunj Ghat in Delhi on the banks of River Yamuna. And it looked really bad. The water was black in color. There was a stinky smell all over the place. There was this weird white toxic foam on water. Just look at it. Look at this white toxic foam. Just looking at the water, I could easily say that it's polluted, it's bad. But I wanted to go one step further. I wanted to find out what exactly is this white foam. ये एक्चुअली में जो हाउस होल्ड वेस्ट वाटर है उसका है अनट्रीटेड वेस्ट वाटर इसकी वजह से आपको ये झाग और ये पानी पीला देखने के लिए मिल जाए दिस इज पंकज ऑल्सो नोन बाई इज इंस्टाग्राम नेम और थोरिया ही रन अ वॉल्टियर ग्रुप फॉर क्लीनिंग यमुना दे डू अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दे ऑर्गेनाइज क्लीनिंग ड्राइव द कीप अ चेक ऑन यमुना वाटर क्वालिटी हम लोग जब अपने घर में कपड़े धोते हैं तो क्या करते हैं कि हम जो है डिटर्जेंट डालते हैं और उसके बाद हम जो है जब हम घोलते हैं तो झाग बनती है आपने कपड़े तो धो लिए आपने शैम्पू से बाल तो धो लिए बट जब वो पानी आपके घर से निकल तो वो किसी ड्रेन में जाती है फिर उस ड्रेन से जब मृदि में आती है तो ऐसा झाग बनता है दिस फोम इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हाउसेस फ्रॉम वेन वी यूज डिटर्जेंट्स सोप्स एंड केमिकल्स बट दैट्स जस्ट वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी पंकज से दिस वाटर इज इवन मोर टॉक्सिक दैन इट सेंस ये जो पानी है इसमें सिर्फ और सिर्फ इंसान और पशुओं का जो है मल बह रहा और कुछ नहीं है नाउ दैट डजेंट साउंड गुड सो हाउ बैड रेली इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ वाटर इन यमुना To measure water quality, we look at three indicators: biochemical oxygen demand, dissolved oxygen, and fecal coliform. Ideally, these numbers should be at these levels. But when you test the water of Yamuna in Delhi, these are the results that you get. Almost everywhere, Yamuna fails the test, and that too by a huge margin. Do you know what fecal coliform is? It's a bacteria found in human and animal feces. It's found in human and animal poop. It's a polite way of saying that this river is full of crap. And these FC levels are way above the safe limits. In Kalindi Kunj or the Okla Barrage where I went to, these levels were 368 times more. Just a few kilometers ahead, this number increases to 6,400 times. That's not just contamination of water; that's pollution on steroids. This basically indicates that a lot of human and animal poop is being dumped into Yamuna. Asgarpur ka stretch jo hai, wo stretch pe jo hai fecal coliform. कि जो मात्रा है वो 100 एम पानी में एक करोड़ साठ लाख एम पर 100 एम क्योंकि आप 100 एम पानी जो उठा रहे हो उसमें वो बैक्टीरिया है जो इंसान और पशुओं के मल में पाया जाता है डेढ़ करोड़ से भी ज़्यादा है 100 एम के पानी में तो आप सोचिए वो पानी किस लायक होगा ऑल दिस टेलजर्स द वाटर फ्लोइंग इन यमुना इज इवन वर्स दैन यू कैन इमेजिन द नेक्स्ट ऑब्वियस क्वेश्चन इज वाई इज दिस हैपनिंग यहाँ पर क्या है कि तीन ड्रेन मिल रहे हैं अबुल फजल ड्रेन इधर से उधर से सहाड्रा ड्रेन फिर आगे जाके तुगलक आबाद ड्रेन इन तीनों ड्रेन से जो है रॉ सीवेजेस जो है बहाए जा रहे हैं जिसकी वजह से फीकल क्वालिफॉर्म बैक्टीरिया इतने ज्यादा बढ़ रही है स्टॉन्ट एट द वाटर ऑफ यमुना इज ऑलवेज डर्टी यमुना इज अ बिग रिवर इट फ्लोज फॉर ओवर 1300 थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स वन इट स्टार्ट इन यमुनोत्री इट्स वाटर इज प्योर एंड क्लीन एंड इवन ड्रिंकेबल 
but there's a tiny stretch in Delhi, just 22 kilometers that changes everything. Delhi gives a lot of sewage into it. It's a human dominated landscape and any city cannot be devoid of sewage. So that's why river is suffering because besides sewage, there is no water. Because water is critical for any river, that to clean water. So procurement of water for river is a challenge. This is Dr. Fayaz. He's an ecologist with over 20 years of experience. I learned that the main reason why Yamuna is getting polluted is because raw sewage is being dumped into it through drains. I wanted to see this with my own eyes. What kind of water is being released into Yamuna? So I went to one of the largest drains in Delhi. Behind me what you see is a drain. This is a Nazavar drain with all the pollutants, all the bad things that you can imagine coming into Yamuna, joining into Yamuna. This is completely black, completely black. It smells really bad, there's a foul smell and it's just hard to stay here. There is garbage all over the place. You have no idea how bad the water is. I'm scared to even touch this water. This is what we are sending back to Yamuna. The water looks like this. Yamuna mein Yamuna ka pani to hai nahi. Aapne Yamuna ka pani to rok liya upar hi. Ab Yamuna mein jo pani aa raha hai wo kiska pani aa raha hai? Wo aa rahi hai Delhi mein jo aas paas ke aur Delhi aur aas paas ke drain hai uski pani aa rahi hai. Now that we have understood the problem, the next obvious question is what can we do to make Yamuna clean again? To hum agar Yamuna ko behtar karna chahte to hame drain ko sahi karna padega. Drain ki water quality aap dekhiye ki kahan kahan se untreated aa raha hai unko aap rokiye unko trap kariye. Drain sahi hogi to Yamuna sahi hogi. Aap Yamuna pe itna mehnat kar rahe hain. Kyun kar rahe hain Yamuna pe? Aap drain sahi kariye na. Pani to usi ka raha hai. Yamuna ka pani to hai nahi. Pankaj says that to clean Yamuna, we should stop sending dirty water into it. We should first send this dirty water to sewage treatment plants which have the technology to clean it. Only after this cleaning is done, we should send it into Yamuna. Stippies, which is our 10 BUD, 10 PSS, these guidelines are very stringent and they are very good. If we work on it, if we work on it, if we work on it, then we can reduce the pollution of the whole country of the country. And we don't have to do anything. In 90 minutes, the whole process is done. In 1.5-2 hours, you have treated the water in 2 hours. The rest of the natural process will not be so fast. It will take time. Today, Delhi produces an insane amount of sewage. About 792 million gallons every day, according to estimates. In theory, we have the capacity to treat 96% of it through sewage treatment plants or STPs. This actually sounds good. But there's one problem. These STPs are not working properly. We got data about 36 of the 37 STPs in Delhi. Out of the 36 STPs, only 20 are actually meeting the required standards. Because of this, only 67% of the sewage generated can be treated properly. This means that even though we have at least the basic infrastructure in place, one third of all sewage is still getting dumped into the river without proper treatment. STP ka treated wastewater jab drain mein jayega, to drain ka pani wase acha ho jayega. तो ड्रेन से जब जो है 10 बारा 15 बीयूडी का पानी आएगा तो आपको एक बेहतर जो है कंडीशन देखने को मिले। And honestly that surprised me. Is it that simple? Like is that it? Can STPs really clean this dirty water? Only one way to find out. I went to visit a sewage treatment plant. I wanted to see if they can really make this polluted water clean again. Here I met Atul, a pleasant guy with an engineering background. He decided to work here because of his love for nature. In addition to managing the plant, he loves planting trees. Look at these beautiful trees. He gave me a tour of how this STP works. Here's a brief overview of it. It starts right here. Through this pipe that you see, dirty water from our houses is coming into this plant. And now the cleaning process begins. This is the first step. Big stuff like plastic bags, chips, packets are separated. So what basically happens is that water flows through these screens, which stop large waves from going further. This looks really interesting. You can almost see the kind of waste that people throw away. Anyways, then water moves here to this grid chamber. In this process, oil and grease are allowed to come on top. As you can see on your screen. Look at this thick layer. There's another process that is happening that you cannot see on camera because it is happening on the bottom part of the grid chamber. Here, sand and other small particles are allowed to settle down. Next, water goes to these large circular tanks. These look really big in person as well. Here, sludge is allowed to settle down and the scraper 
moves around the circle and collects sludge. Till now the water has become a little bit clean, but we need to clean it further. We make something called activated sludge with water. Now this adds new bacteria into water. These new bacteria have a job to do. They will now break down the remaining sludge and dirt that is present in water. This is a really important step as it removes a lot of impurities from water. Up next, we have to remove the activated sludge we added into water in the previous step. The water again goes to a new circular tank. This scraper again removes the sludge. And we're almost done. The water is almost clean. The water will now go through a filter of sand and then we'll add chlorine into it. As you can see on your screen, dirty water from our toilets has been cleaned to a great extent. It's not perfect, but it's clean enough to send back to Yamuna. They claim that their water meets the required water quality standards. I was quite happy and surprised to see the outcome. Finally, I had some element of hope. The results of STPs are very promising, but Dr. Fayaz says, along with STPs, we should also focus on nature-based solutions. There's a 100% um, possibility the river can be brought to a stage where it can breathe. Delhi Development Authority already carried out a restoration program and that is Yamuna Biodiversity Park. DDS Yamuna Biodiversity Park. It is spread on area of 457 and divided into two parts, inactive and active flood. Here, active restoration practices have been shown where wetland, floodplain wetland, uh, have been, wetlands have been identified and restored back to the pristine glory where you have plants, animals, birds interacting. In simple words, what Dr. Fayaz is trying to say is that we need to restore the area around River Yamuna to create wetlands. This would mean more plants, water and animals in and around Yamuna. Doing this will not only bring life into River Yamuna but also help in naturally cleaning its water. I promise you that these water will be life-saving for River Yamuna. These floodplain wetlands are not only wetlands, but they act as a kidney for river. They are nursery for river. How they act? Lot of silt come, a lot of muck come, they go through these wetlands and all the silt get deposited within it. And clean water goes to river because these wetlands have a lot of aquatic plants, zooplankton, phytoplankton and many organisms, invertebrates which cleans this water and then many during flood lot of organism comes from far away get settled into, into these wetlands even though water receives these wetlands have a lot of water lot of organism which grow over a period of time when next year flood comes all these organism goes to main river channel and gives life to the river this is the Bazirabad barrage this is how the water of Yamna looks like before a lot of sewage has been thrown into it there's even a boat club here. People are swimming, they are kayaking, everything seems pleasant. And this is what Yamuna looks like after the sewage of Delhi has polluted it. These are visuals from the Kalindi Kunj Ghat. Yamuna has only become more smelly and poisonous. My journey proved to be fruitful. I have realized that it is not impossible to clean Yamuna. We can do it. And we know how to do it. All we have to do is work properly. We just have to make sure that everyone is doing their jobs. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the STPs and the citizens.